Greetings, Internet. My name is Vince Nicholas. I'm the Lazy Healthy Dude. Remember, kids, when Facebook is down, when Facebook is down, remember, the number one rule is to go onto Twitter to complain about Facebook being down. Because social media is really about complaining about things. And if one platform is down that we can't complain on, then we should go to another platform and complain on that platform how the other platform is down so we cannot complain on the other platform. Can we all agree that Kelly Clarkson's Because of You is their best song? Now, I'm just going to go through the top three really quickly. Number three, Since You've Been Gone. It's a classic, upbeat, high-tempo pop song. It's a great song. Number two is uh, Break Away. It's a very good song, but she uses the, the cliche of uh, spread my wings in the chorus, and that, that's just a little much. But Because of You is a fabulous song. It still stands up to this day. Um, it's, it's about empowerment. Girl power, am I right, ladies? Uh, and I, I still love this song. I'm still a fan. What's up with white people and their drinking games? I mean, seriously. So, I'm at a housewarming, Luke Minton's housewarming. He's a white man. Uh, and a lot, much of his family, friends, and co-workers are white men also, which is fun. Uh, and so, uh, we're there, we're chatting it up. Listen, I like to get drunk, and then I like to chat. That's my thing. That, I, I, that's where I shine, that's where, that's where I rise above the fray. I, I like to get drunk, and I like to chat it up, and BS, and that's entertaining to me, that's fun to me, and th that's what I dig. So, anything that gets in the way of that, be it uh, mixing drinks, and talking about craft beer, and, and, and IPAs, and high Hyfweizen, and, uh, and blenders to blend these drinks, and uh, drinking games, for instance, that I will talk about here. Uh, it's, I want to get as drunk as possible, as quickly as possible, and then I want to start BSing. It's like Biggie said, okay? Party and BS, although he says the full word, bull s, uh, which I won't say. I don't know. I, I don't mind writing... I don't mind writing a, a curse on, on the internet, but uh, I don't know, just saying it out loud on the YouTubes, on my vlogs here, uh, I, I don't know, maybe one day I'll curse, maybe I'll hold it in, maybe I'll start my Patreon, and if you give $10,000 a month, I'll say the F word. What's up? There's too many Patreons, okay? There's too many promo codes in, in, in podcasts. Like, if I want, I would never buy a mattress from the internet. But if I wanted to buy a Casper, I, I would be like, okay, well, whose promo code do I use? Do I use Adam Carolla's promo code? Do I use Leo Laporte's promo code? Do I, do I use whatever, NPR's promo code? I, what is this all becoming? There's too many, it's, it's the race of the promo codes. And, and the Patreons, like, I, I dig your content, but I don't want to give you money <laughs> because content is infinite now. Content is infinite. So if you stop your show or make it subscription only where I have to pay, okay, I will go to the other 9 million uh, sources of enter entertaining content and I will find one. I will find one or two or three or six million. Um, I was the biggest Stern fan, Howard Stern, back in the day. I love the dude. I still have a fond place in my heart for him. Um, and uh, when he went to Sirius, I did the whole thing. I got, I bought some uh, Sirius hardware. I had like a little boom box. And then I had one other thing I can't remember, I think. Uh, and I paid the subscription, which it was, it was getting up to like 18 bucks a month, which is a lot. Um, because they tack on royalties and fees and taxes. It was just, it was a highway robbery. But, uh, so after like a year or two of, uh, the, uh, having the hardware and having the subscriptions and just paying, I was just like, it's enough. 
Like I'm, I, I find him entertaining, but there are nine billion sources of uh, entertainment because due to the internet, there are infinite, endless choices for uh, uh, entertainment content. So I, I love you, Howie. I, I, I enjoyed your show for like a decade or maybe fifteen years. I, I can't even remember. But it, but. It was nice to know you, man. Sorry, sorry. There's too many barriers there's, to the the hardware and the subscriptions, and uh, it was just the very and the various plans. And he wouldn't, and he still doesn't put up podcasts, which boggles my mind. Um, and so I was just like, I'm done. I'm done. And my life went on, much like any entertainment. Life goes on. You, it, when when it first goes away, like when Seinfeld uh, first went off the air, I love Seinfeld, huge Seinfeld fan. And uh, when it first uh, did the finale or whatever, I was like, oh, that sucks. Like I enjoyed that show, but somehow I moved on with my life. And uh, that's what happens with most entertainment. It's just so uh, fleeting. It's just unimportant. And you enjoy something. And then when it's done, you enjoy something else. That's the life lesson. Back to white people and drinking games. So we're at Minton, I'm at Luke Minton's housewarming party. Him and his fiance Kelsey just bought a home in Rockland, California. Um, and they had a housewarming on Saturday. So uh, we're sitting there and uh, first of all, the, it looked like a freaking model home. Like he, he's only been there a couple weeks. He just moved in two maybe three weeks ago and already I was like this this place looks like it's staged like a model home like bookshelves and beautiful couches and sofas and tchotchkes and it, it, it felt like home and there was just I was, I was blown away honestly because <laughs> my my uh, humble abode here my my hovel is very very basic uh, because I, well, I, I'm by myself, and I don't have a woman to uh, wifey it up, as one could say. So it's, 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 it's comfortable, it's very simple, and I'm a minimalist. Um, but, uh, so, I'm at the Minton housewarming, and we're sitting around, chatting it up, uh, drinking, drinking, smoking, straight west coasting, you know what I'm saying? That was a Dr. Dre reference. Uh, and, uh, so we're sitting there, stand, well, we're standing there, and, uh, in the kitchen and whatnot, blah, 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 and that's my favorite thing, like I said, drinking and BSing, I, it doesn't get no better, that's where I really shine, that's my time to shine, bro, and, uh, so suddenly it's decided that we're gonna play a drinking game, what, I'm sitting here having a very pleasant time, I'm drinking, I'm under the influence, I'm chatting it up with people who I don't really know, but I'm getting to know. I'm having a blast, and then suddenly it's decided we're gonna play a drinking game. Uh, and there, there's uh, like four or five people in said drinking game, and I was drafted to be one of the four or five bros. I think there was one girl in it, maybe, but I was one of the people because Luke was like. You gotta play a drink. You got. You're in on this drinking game. I don't remember what the drinking game was called. It was called Shotgun or Tom Hardy or uh, or Tom Selleck or uh, Shotgunning Tom Hardy and Tom. Selleck. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Or quarantine. Or, it it really doesn't matter. So we go outside in the backyard. Charming backyard, by the way. These backyards sometimes are so freaking small, and then they have a, a like a wooden fence, so you have no view. This place where Minton, Minton's home, he has like a nature preserve behind his, his house. So he's got, a de it's a small backyard, but it's it's decent size. It's it's more than I could ever dream of. It's fine. But, uh, and then he's got a fence, but it's not the wooden fence where you can't see anything. Like, I'm blind. Like, like what the hell's the point of that? But he's got the, uh, it's steel, I don't know, things. But you could see through it, I mean, and uh, it's and you see the trees and the leaves and, and the dirt there. I could just imagine like this winter, uh, after a bunch of rain, it's gonna be flipping beautiful. Anyway, enough about that. I want to move in with the kid. 
an Airbnb me, bro. One more note. <laughs> One more note about Minton Zone. He gives me the tour. It's freaking beautiful. I mean, considering that he moved in there a few weeks ago and there's not boxes with the things strewn about and it's just not a giant mess uh, confounded me. But uh, he shows me his bedroom and uh, well, first of all, he's got a squatty potty. Hello? <laughs> I just I hear people evangelize about the squatty potty. I freaking want one. And I know they're like 15 bucks or whatever. I'm definitely going to get one. But, uh, uh, so I look at his, I go in his bedroom, walk around, lay in his bed, snuggle, snuggle with his little dog, invite him in. No. Uh, but I see that he has a Barry Bonds Wheaties box, which obviously is is pretty old, uh, but he has a Barry Bonds Wheaties box on his bedroom dresser, and after that, I was like, I, I, I had fallen in love with him, honestly. I was, we are bros for life, okay? I saw your Barry Bonds Wheaties box on your bedroom dresser in your new home. We're bonded forever. Me and you, bro. Me and you, Luke Minton. No. So uh, we head out to the backyard. Meanwhile, okay, so I'm drinking. I'm enjoying myself. I'm meeting his family and his friends and his co-workers, all white, mostly white, uh, which is fine. Uh, and I I'm having a blast. And so it's decided we're gonna play uh, Shotgun or Tom Hardy or uh, or Quagmire or uh, Blow Hard or something. I don't I don't know. So whatever this drinking game is called, we start. So we head out to the backyard and there's a pic big picnic table there. And uh, he so he has a deck of cards, of course. And uh, it's a Game of Thrones deck of cards. Hashtag white people, am I right? <sighs> white people and their deck of cards and their Game of Thrones deck of cards, am I right, people? Um. So he starts dealing cards. Or I, he was or, he was like the dungeon master. He was orchestrating this whole thing. He's like de he's like putting a couple cards in front of me, and he's like, "Oh, you have to drink this." And I was like, "Okay, no problem." <laughs> I, mean, I don't know why cards and gaming came in between you telling me to drink, but I have no problem with that. Matter of fact, can I? I'll have two drinks right now. I want to drink. I'm here to drink and chat it up and have fun and get to know you and your family. And, uh, so this this whole distraction <laughs> of, of this game here, I don't get I think it's a white people thing. I honestly think it's a white people thing. I go on the YouTubes, okay? I'm on the Instagrams and drinking games, it's white people, okay? White drinking, white people playing drinking games is a thing. I, I, me personally, or maybe it's a young person thing, or maybe it's a young white person thing, which is the worst kind of white person, am I right? No, but uh, I, I remember like when I was, okay, and another thing I, I should have disclosed is that uh, Minton and his whole crew there, uh, 10, 12, maybe 15 years younger than me, I'm old, I'm 40, uh, so... Maybe it's a young person thing. I think it's definitely a white person thing. So the silly game uh, continues, and uh, the other four or five people playing, they sometimes they have to drink, sometimes they don't. It depends on the card. If the card is higher than their previous, I don't flip it, no. It just seems, like, what the hell? I just, can, can I just drink? I, I want to drink. And one time it came to me, and uh, Luke uh, dealt me whatever <laughs> in this in this uh, game called Under Siege 2 Dark Territory or whatever it was called. And he was like, Vince, you have to take three drinks. I was like, okay, fine. Can I take four? Can I take five? I don't care. <laughs> it's just, it seemed just, I, I don't, I don't get it. I really don't get it. And, and like I said, maybe it's a young person thing. Um, Cause I remember when I was, when I was middle, mid, mid to late twenties, or in college or whatever. We didn't play games, we just drank. We drank, there might have been some music, there might have been some uh, dancing, some booty shaking, uh, some some uh, some getting freaky on the dance floor. Uh, but there were, I don't I, we didn't play games for whatever reason, because it's stupid, it is stupid, okay? And I realize it can be an icebreaker um, if you don't know anyone, but again, 
Drinking is the best icebreaker and asking people questions. What do you do? How do you know Luke? What's up with the weather? Um, I like your shirt. So drinking games to me is a white person thing or a young person thing or a young white person thing. Uh, but it is not my thing. But I went along with it. It was fine. And you know what? The 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 game that what 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 is this game called? Qualcomm or 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 or, or a Quantum of Solace, whatever it was called. Uh, it was it lasted maybe ten minutes, <laughs> and then you know what? We just drank and we chat and we chatted, and that's what it was all about. So. The game didn't have any staying power. I blame the Game of Thrones uh, deck of cards. So in the end, uh, at the end of the day, and I hate people when people say that, and I also hate when people say in the end. But in conclusion, and I don't really, I'm not a fan of that one either. But just I, if you want to play a drinking game, I will play a drinking game. Um, but I, I, I like to see, and, and that's the other thing with drinking games. Oh, you'll get messed up. You'll get so drunk, you'll get effed up. But I can do that on my own. I'm an adult. I'm 40. I know how to get effed up ASAP, okay? <laughs> I don't need a game to, to, to play around with getting effed I can do it on my own. I'm an adult. I'm a real man. I can do whatever I want. Uh, but just, and just a quick, so... That's my hot take on uh, drinking games there. But uh, just a quick note on the on the housewarming. It was so much fun. Like Luke Minton's friends slash family slash coworkers slash whatever. I think a neighbor was there. A new neighbor. I don't know. I heard. I I hear things. I I'm on the internet. Um, but uh, it was it was so much fun. Everyone was just so like warm and nice and caring and kind and genuine. I mean, he's got some cool peeps. My favorite thing was that I met his BFF, his best friend. They grew up in, I want to say Morgan Hill, which is like a Bay Area, San Jose-ish. Um, I met his BFF, whose name I forget right now. Uh, and they've been friends since, I don't know, seven or whatever, six. And so they had stories of like, doing dopey boy things in middle school and doing silly, stupid crap in high school and their first apartment. And I freaking love that kind of thing because I don't have it. I do not have it. I have no friends from childhood. I have very little friends from high school. Um, and so I, I just, it, it meant, it meant, it was so cool. Like it, it just, it rung, it, it struck my heart and my soul uh, to just see them interact and talk and sort of do their thing and and uh, his BFF uh, her wife or um, his wife was there and I got to chat to her a little and I just love that because having a lifelong friendship like that it must be so beautiful and there's no I, like I can't go back <laughs> like I can't, I can't go back to uh, who my, my best friend in grade school was Noel Dominguez and I can't go back in time and be like Noel let's never uh, lose contact man let's hang out I should look him up on Facebook actually um, he, he, he was a sweet kid love that kid uh, but so that was my favorite part Luke and his uh, boy from uh, childhood was it just it warmed my heart and it made you know what? it made the chatting and the drinking even more special and even more uh, meaningful. So in the and and oh another one one more note I went I went single I, I wasn't gonna go well because I had a date Allison uh, and then uh, I didn't have a date Allison uh, and so I was I was honestly on the fence I was like I don't want to go. Uh, by myself, alone, like a loser, because um, I figured everyone would be cupcaked up with their uh, honey bunny there, and uh, so I was, I was, I was this close to just canceling and saying, "Dude, I, I don't want to go on my own. I don't want to go on 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 the solos." Uh, so, but but in the end, I went and I had a freaking blast. And his family, like I said, family, friends, slash co-workers were awesome. His lady, Kelsey, who I met a couple times, I think, I was drunk. Um, but, I, but I actually got a chance to sort, not really, I mean, dude, they were entertaining and they had tons of guests to tend to and stuff, but I got a chance to just to connect with her and chat with her a little. She's the sweetest. 
and their dog fin. So flippin' cute. I'll put some pictures in right here. That's Finny Fin Fin. Uh, super cute. Uh, and, and actually, uh, cause he, Finn, like, took to me. He was a rescue from several months ago, Luke was telling me. Um, but Finn took to me. Like, he was, uh, kinda, he was kinda into me. And he let me pet him, and he kinda cuddled with me a little. And, uh, Luke was like, that's weird, because he normally doesn't like dudes. And I was like, yeah. Well, I'm not a dude. Mm. Or, uh, no, I think it's because I'm... I'm a kind soul, is what I am. I'm a kind, warm, spiritual soul. And I'm a little girly. I'm very feminine, okay? I, and I don't have a problem with that. I shave my armpits, I shave my chest. Body hair is horrible, kids. You heard that from your Uncle Vince. But uh, yeah, I'm a little girly. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with my feminine side, okay? Per you know what? Th this is an actual conversation we had. Luke Minton asked me uh, this is at the party at some point. He asked me what my favorite color is, and I was like, you know what? Blue is the default, okay? Blue is the dude default, and I get it. I like blue, too. But I, I, my favorite color, I'm a purple dude. I, I mean, it has to be kind of dark purple, not the light violet crap, okay? <laughs> I ain't going all girly. But I like purple. I like, it's just, it's, it's unique. It's different for a dude instead of going with blue. Um, so, I like purple. And does that make me a little girly? I don't care, okay? I'm very feminine. I'm okay with my feminine side. That's what makes me very attractive, ladies. Um, I like red, too. Eh. But Luke's favorite color is orange, okay? That, that struck me. <laughs> that threw me for a loop. So that's it. Uh, what's up with white people and their drinking games, am I right? Uh, I just, I don't know, I just wanted to talk about that. I thought it was, that was a cool uh, yin and yang or, or contrasting uh, dealio, maybe race based, maybe age based, maybe economics based, um, but whatever. Like, comment, subscribe, or don't. Do whatever you want. You're a grown up. Make your own decisions. You're, you're an adult. Why would you do what I ask you to do, huh? But seriously, white people, am I right? Peace. Hello, and welcome to Lazy Healthy Dudes Coach. Uh, I just wanted to say that I'm just pointing this out because it's something I noticed. Like, I love white people, okay? This isn't being negative in any way. This is just a cultural difference that I noticed and I just wanted to point out and talk about and give my opinion on. Uh, I'm half white, okay? And, and uh, I'm embarrassed by it sometimes. Not, well, well you know. <laughs> Being a minority is way cooler, okay? Uh, we dance, we can play basketball, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but, uh, so, th this isn't being negative in any sort of way. So, I'm just pointing out cultural differences. Uh, stereotypes come from somewhere, kids. Uh, hashtag, uh, white people playing drinking games matter. And that's that, alright? Peace.